Good evening everybody, Orin J here with another War of the Visions video, and today I'm going to walk you through the steps to get your UR unit or UR vision card, that last 100 or 200 shards that you need to max it through a farming method called Whimsy Shop Farming. If you're a veteran to the game, you've probably farmed Whimsy Shop before. If you're new to the game and you're trying to figure out how are people getting all of these shards for these units and vision cards and all this, well, one of the ways we're doing it is by Whimsy Shop farming. And if you've been too scared to just ask somebody because you didn't want to look like you didn't know, give this video a watch and I'm going to walk you through the steps that I use to Whimsy farm to finish off my new things. All right, first of all, let's look at the new vision card I got today. I got Skull's vision card today, and I got it off of a step-up banner. It's right here. I've already gotten it to level 85. Great! There were shards in the shop, I got some coins, whatever. You get this initial influx of shards whenever you get a new thing in the game right now. But what do I need to get it to 99? A lot. I'm at zero out of 125. I need 125 more shards to finish this thing but because it is on banner right now it is featured and things that are featured that you own will show up in what's called the whimsy shop how do you get a whimsy shop you might ask good question well my method for getting a whimsy shop to spawn is pretty simple i go to story i go chapter select all the way down to chapter one and then I select scene one, and I go to the first battle, Twin Princes. This is a really, really easy battle. There's two wolves, and anybody that you have that you've worked on at all is going to annihilate these wolves. Like, this was meant for, like, a level one mont to come out here and beat. So, I throw a party together of people who I'm working on getting JP for. People who I'm working on building resonance for. Because you want to take advantage of the fact you're just going to be cycling through this fight over and over again. Um, energy in this game is not something you just get a lot of for free. You're going to use some energy pots in this method, so make sure you're taking advantage of it by working on espers and building JP for units that you want to build on. So this is my JP farming squad right now, or let's just say it is anyway. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to go to battle settings, repeat settings, I'm going to click unlimited repeats, and then I'm going to click this right here. I want it to quit repeating the battle when a whimsy spot, when a whimsy shop spawns. Then X, I'm going to click repeat, and I'm going to click embark. Now, what's going to happen is my team's going to go into this fight. You're going to see it in just a second, and we're just going to run it over in about two moves. Because look, it's like some level one wolves, and so here's uh, who gets to go first. I think it's Ayaka, so she might not do anything. But Medina is going to be like, oh, Medina just chose you shuriken. Because why not? Adelar going to go cast a spell. Yeah, we're just doing some things. Rain, finish this thing off, please. <laughs> okay, everybody's casting spells, which makes it take a little bit longer. You can turn stuff like that off. Put people out there with instant use abilities, you know, to make it go quicker. Whatever. Um, anyway, fight's over. I've cleared the quest. Now, every once in a while, it'll say Whimsy Shop Spawn. If not, it'll just keep repeating until you get one, and then it'll stop, and it'll notify you that a Whimsy Shop has spawned. Okay, here we go. I used some skip tickets for the sake of uh, fast-forwarding this video a little bit. But here, this is what it looks like. Your, your fight is going to stop on this screen right here. It's not going to keep repeating the battle, because we checked to say, hey, stop when a Whimsy Shop spawns. Cool. Now you're going to click to the Whimsy Shop, and it's going to load in. And it's going to look something like this. Right here, you see, I have this new vision card. And it guarantees me, guarantees, three shards of it every time the Whimsy Shop spawns. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to buy those up. Awesome. And then I'm going to scroll down. And sometimes you'll get lucky. And you might get some more Whimsy Shop, or some more shards of what you're looking for down here. Uh, I did not. I only got those three. I'm not actively working on anything else in here, so I'm done. That's it. Now, the Whimsy Shop is open for 30 minutes. What I do, what I've found to be the best thing, is I will now not touch the farming for a while. I'm not going to run anything for about an hour. I let the Whimsy Shop end, 
and then I wait at least another 30 minutes, and then I just start the farming machine back up. That to me has maximized the number of whimsy shops I get in a day without wasting a bunch of my energy and a bunch of my potions when the whimsy shop doesn't even have a chance of spawning again. So if you follow that method, you're guaranteed to get three shards every time the shop spawns. You have a chance at getting bonus shards down here for regular price and you will over the course of the couple of weeks that your unit or vision card is featured, get the shards you need to level it up. And this it, this works. This is how I've leveled so many things. Does it require burning through a lot of your energy? Yes, it does. Um, does it require having some Vizior? Yes, it does. The things in this game just require that. But if you can get it, then this is how, this is how I do it. This is how most people I know do it, and it works. All right. So my last tips, the things that I think you should remember if you're going to Whimsy Shop Farm have to do with maximizing your energy consumption and what you're getting out of it. Because you do want to get more than just three shards of value from spending maybe 500 to 800 to 1000 energy to spawn a Whimsy Shop. So make sure that one, you are using units that will benefit in some way from being in the party. Maybe it's units you're leveling up. Maybe it's resonance building with espers. Maybe it's party resonance building. Something like that. Take advantage of this opportunity to power up some of your units. Another way to do this that is a little bit slower is if there's something you need to farm in the game, like black spirit sand or the green faces um, or something that drops in a regular mission. This is a great way to farm that passively while working on shards. I will often do this if I'm not in a hurry for um, Black Spirit Sand, which I always seem to be running low on uh, for crafting gear and things. I'll find an easy level that, drop black that drops Black Spirit Sand. I'll throw some of my stronger units in there so they can clear it pretty fast. And I'll use that as an opportunity to diversify the Esper Resonance that they have. And that's been really effective for me. I hope that this video was able to help a few people who maybe were afraid to ask just what whimsy farming is, maybe afraid to ask just how you spawn whimsy shops. Um, and I'm happy to share this tip with you guys. And if you have any other questions for me, check out my channel, leave a comment in the comment section. I will address it and I will see you all in the next video.